Yes, I am going to review Elwell Intro. Actually, ah, got you. I'm not going to review it. Uh uh, I hate this episode. The episode sucks. It stinks. It's worse. It's bad. It makes me want to puke apples and puke applesauce out. Which I really love applesauce, but then as you know, well. Hey, what's going on? What's the light? Where's the lights? Where am I? You've been warned. Okay, who's there? We want to review the episode. What? No, I'm not going to review it. I hate that episode. Out and sucks. Oh, if you don't, we will do something torturous. Like what? Like turn you white and make you bald. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Excellent. You know, this is young good, Mom. Shut it. Okay, yes. I've been forced to review the episode by my two smart daughters. Honestly, I do not want to review it. Um. Okay, I gotta do it. I don't. Uh. Okay, this is the review of Our Well That End Well. So, let's begin. <clears throat> the episode opens at, at good old Golden Oak Library. Oh, that's beauty. With Twilight, Sparkle, and Spike, preparing for the picnic for the Centurion Meteor Show. They gather strategy equipment, pack snacks, Twilight compliments Spike for being such a reliable assistant, and of course gives him a big head. The compliments please him so much, he gets her to say it twice more on the way. However, he burns one of the books. Seriously, all this time, I end up sneezing a real fire instead of magic fire. Yeah, that's what anyone would think about it. Still lonely, I believe Little Dragon still has a couple of hiccups in the sneeze department. Am I right, folks? <laughs> and Twilight remembered that she owned a valuable book, which is the book he destroyed with a sneeze. Oh my god. He added it. What a little brat. He should have just be honest with her. In any case, saying that someone might have borrowed it. Twilight believed him, and they, along with their friends, set up a picnic and hill under starry sky. Rarity gave Spike a bow tie laden with jewels, and the ponies enjoyed the meteor shower of food, but Spike fell asleep in the punch bowl. And as Piggy felt it, the punch has been spiked! <laughs> in any case, Twilight tucked Spike into bed and started writing her findings on the meteor shower. However, here at a tap on a balcony door, she looked out to find out that no one's there. She is interrupted by another noise, a shadow that fled past the window. She opened the window to gate, the dust the wind blew her report out of the window. Then she bemoaned the fact that they would normally be Stike's text to reveal the scroll. An owl came in through the window and hooted her and dropped the scroll at her table. Oh, that's so cute. I love baby owls! <laughs> it reminds me of my little owl, Shahuti. Uh, I better get on with Twilight thanks the owl and invites to keep her company. And then Spike wakes up. Next morning, he wakes up in a panic, immediately noticed that he's overslept. He rushed down to pause the trial, but it makes up for the last time. But she informs him that everything has already been taken care of by their new junior assistant, Aloysius. Aloysius. Very nice name. It has the name Owl and Wisdom in it. And Curious. Aloysius. The owl is the symbol of wisdom in, in Greek mythology, and I do love studying it. I'd rather talk about that. Let's talk about that. <clears throat> Mom, come on. <sighs> then Spike tries to befriend Aloysius, but the latest only says, Ooh, Spike surprises his new assistant after his job and warns the owl that he will be keeping a close eye on him. That bird is out of my job. He wants to be number one. I'll prove to Twilight they deserve this more than he does. Yeah, something like that. Later that day, after reading a book about owls, Spike overheard a conversation with Twilight's friends outside. Library. Fluttershy is fascinated by the bird, and much to Spike's dismay, Rarity gave or wishes another one of her bedazzled in bow ties, seeing him take the and huff. And Miss Fluttershy suspects Twilight that Spike feels jealous or even threatened the newcomer later. However, Twilight denounces this is not really true, but, Sp but seriously, Twilight, you're blind to it. And Spike tries to assist Twilight as usual, but Owl wishes is always one step ahead of him. In one case, Spike asks about all over a point where to find a new quill pen. 
or finally managed to take a feather from a chicken. When he returned, he sees the twilight already has a new crown. One of Elwes' feathers from the hub to pike announced that he will do now all the chores and the owl has his attention, but failed to sleep and exhausted immediately. He woke up the next scene. Alois has found the chair at the book, and twice verified that the spike lied to him. He stormed out of the library, proclaimed that he's intended to get even with that bird. While well, stepping outside, the mouse scurried away, remembering the owl eats mice. He leaves the scene and returns to the daily village disguise. Of course, very tactical retreatment of him to do that. I mean, come on, seriously. Spike, you're so ice. This is why I hate this episode. Do it or else. Sally, why did your father taught you how about acting like a villain? I don't know. He thought it was good for acting lessons. Ugh. Only to return in villain disguise, he sneaks into Rarity's house to take other lessons toy mouse and ventures back into the library, where he intends to make the mess using an owl with a destroy a toy. Action Twilight said once more has disappointed. Before then, he messed up with ketchup, got really upset, got... Sorry. <sighs> Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. The script got misprinted. Where he intended to make a mess of use and now destroy a toy pillow, feather, and ketchup, hoping the owl would get playing. But before he could finish, Twilight catched him in the act. And Twilight said once more he was disappointed, and she, oh, this is not the spike I know I love. And spike then runs away to give the free forest with a binder of a soldier. Oh, you know, when I was young, Philly, I would try to run away from my mom. A lot, actually. Because, well, hey, I was the one with the protection of dreams. Two, I never got to go out that much, and three, there were eyes and ears everywhere in our village. I couldn't even do anything fun. My sister wanted to sneak me out at nighttime, just enjoy the night and the stars and all of that. Moms, Ugh. and humming cold and wet, sun's wings from Spike finds a southern side nearby cave where he discovers a trove of gems. He appears appetite in these gems. Then he sees a giant green dragon boy that he thought would be happy to live there. But then this dragon came, who was upset that Spike had eaten some of his jewelry, and Spike tries to reach the dragon to in their relationship with species, but the dragon is not presently, presently attacked him. Just as he began to corner Aloysius and Twilight Arid with the owl's guardian, they rescued Spike and di distracted and overwhelmed the adult dragon before escaping from the forest. Twilight later explained she was very worried about his spirit, and then they followed the trail Spike had to become a feet made. Twilight assured him that she only spent her time with Alois because he would always take him right in night time. And because Spike is still too young to stay up late, Spike apologizes to being so jealous. And Twilight apologized in return for not being sensitive enough for Spike's feelings. Back at the library, rather than write her usual report, Twilight convinced Spike that he should do it. And he starts doing it as he falls asleep before he can report Alois's hoot to Twilight and to leave mistakes for a question. And in the final shot, Alois turns head. 18 zero diag and winks the camera. And there you have it. Uh, as I've said before, I don't really care much for this episode. The main six are bland. Twilight never really realized how Spike was being so sensitive, and even I understand how that is. Sometimes my sister would get the spotlight when it comes to night flying and all that. When it comes to my dream abilities, I usually get the hot, I usually get that limelight. But when my sister gets the limelight, I get upset. It's normal. It could be normal for anyone. <laughs> was that you, Sally? No, it wasn't me. Yeah, uh huh, it was. You ate those sugar frosted brownies with milk. You know you're allergic to milk. Raven, shut up. All right, you're two enough. I gotta get to do the review since you guys two forced me into it. We'll talk about it after. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Al wishes was. As usual, adorable. I love him. He was this adorable little owl. So cute. Remind me of my owl, Shahuti. Which was a quality, a little adorable little owl. Hmm. So yeah, Twilight was brainless, but at least she found out and found, had a had a new helper. Owl wishes at night and she's bike and enjoy his sleep. Which is really good, actually. But the main six? Um, eh. Less business. Oh, come on. Do I have to read the script? Yes. Fine. They were rooting to 10 good in the first part of the episode, but then as they pointed out that, that you know, they were suspicious of, this, of the jealousy, and Twilight ignored that. I mean, seriously, Twilight, darling, why do you ignore that thought? I mean, seriously, Spike, you with you, Shinji was a baby dragon, a baby dragon. You should realize these emotions. In any case, 
this is how my this is how the review went, and I reviewed it, and I'm done. And I can review the next episode for next week, and that's gonna be a fun one. Let's see. Did you hand me the list? No, you have the list. It's right on your desk. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, girls. Next one is. Oh no, no, no! I will not do part of one. Yes, you will. No, I won't. Alright, Karamba. See you guys.